It is a lightweight showdown between Anthony Showtime Pettis and Donald Cerrone. Well, he's a matchmaker's dream. He's been a contender in two different divisions. Here is the always active Donald Cowboy Cerrone. Outstanding striker, great submission game, and you've seen an uptick in the takedowns as well since he moved up to 170 pounds, where he has realized a whole lot of success. Donald Cowboy Cerrone, now welterweight contender, still working towards that title shot here at 170 pounds. Donald Cerrone is a well-rounded fighter with great submissions and great low time. He's extremely difficult to finish, a lot of heart, great chin, and he fights very well in the later rounds. So here is the former UFC lightweight champion, Anthony Showtime Pettis. He won the belt in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, of all places, back in 2013. Defended it with another submission of Gilbert Melendez. This is as an electric a striker as we have in the sport, but really a well-rounded mixed martial artist. Last three wins of the UFC have come by way of submission. This is a guy who can kill you on the mat. Anthony Showtime Pettis still hopes his future is in the UFC Hall of Fame. Tonight, undoubtedly, a big one for him, Joe. Anthony Pettis may be one of the best Taekwondo strikers converted to mixed martial arts fighters. His highlight reel of kick knockouts is amongst the best in the sport. And now our kill the take for this lightweight scrap. Pettis is 31. Cerrone is 34. He is three inches taller. He will have a one-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 33 wins, 11 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, Donald And now introducing the opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A Taekwondo fighter holding a professional record of 21 wins, 8 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, USA, presenting the former UFC lightweight champion, Anthony Showtime. the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. Are uh, you ready? You ready? Let's and we are underway. All right, round one is underway. The trend for Anthony Showtime Pettis has been as a first round stoppage machine. More than a dozen first round finishes to his credit. We'll be looking to add to that total here tonight. And there's a nice jab. Joe, how do you think he approaches this challenge? Anthony Pettis is one of the most dynamic kickers in the game today. Nice left, left kick to the body. Try to establish that jab. Oh, man, with that right leg kick. Both fighters a little bit hesitant to engage, feeling each other out. Pettis gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense. These guys are going at it here right away, trading blows. Pettis gets caught by the inside leg. those feet. Lands the jab. 
Just over two minutes, round one. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, clipped him with the jab. Cerrone gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked with that jab. He was almost moving into it. So let's see if he can switch up the footwork here, Joe, and make the requisite adjustments. Lands to the body. Oh, that's a good strike there by Pettis. Able to land to the body there with the left kick. Oh, he missed that kick. Pettis gets absolutely punished by that hit. And now he touches him with the left. Trying to establish that jab once again. And he lands a knee right on the button. Cerrone's lower jaw could not look much worse, Joe. It's really swollen at this point in time. We'll keep an eye on it as this fight moves forward. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Some really well-placed strikes on display in that round. Brittany Palmer doing fine work as usual. Here we are, early round two. All right, so second round getting underway here. Competitive first round, Joe. Not necessarily a round of the year per se, but high level action on both sides. Both fighters had their moments. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? Donald Cerrone is one of the wildest, most game fighters in mixed martial arts today. He has outstanding Muay Thai, a ridiculously good submission game as well, and is just one of the toughest guys that has ever competed in MMA. Pettis landing some vicious body shots. Absolutely, Joe. that hook. Oh! Looked like he might have landed there and stand a swing and a miss by Pettis. Well, he leaned right into that hook shot, Joe, and that is certainly something that bears watching here moving forward. I know he's confident in his chin, but he's a sitting duck there walking right into the pocket to absorb that hook. And both guys really throwing with authority. Efficient with that jab, doubles up on it now. And he's looking for that left. Nice jab, good kick. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find oh! himself in the He's gotta be careful there, don't rush in. Cerrone gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to show up the defense here, though. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. These guys are just standing in front of each other and throwing bombs. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Very nice leg kick for him there. Can't take too many of those. Under a minute now in round two. He missed with that jab attempt there. Cerrone's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. 30 seconds to go in the round. Fainting with the punch. Oh, solid jab. 
seconds here of round two. Big power shot there. Round three next. And here's a nice kick to the body that lands. And here's another kick to the body. And here's one more perfectly placed kick to the body. Incredible striking on display in that round. Ariane Celeste is holding it down. Third round underway. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh! Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. There he swung with a haymaker. We show you the total strikes. Nice. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Trademark inside leg kick there by Pettis. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Nice leg kick. Back and forth we go! Tries a big hook to the head, but misses. Pettis gets caught with that. Oh! oh! He's got him right here. Wow! Whoa! about that chin. Well, he got his head snapped back there, Joe. The straight punch lands flush to the head. And again, he's just not doing things defensively that you want to see. Move that upper body. Get that head off the center line. Right now, he's just leaning right into his opponent's range. Tagged him. Misses with the jab. Beautiful jab by Cowboy. Nice combination of strikes there by Cowboy Serrano. Good shot to the body there by Cowboy. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Oh, he is starting to put a lot more pressure on his opponent here, Joe. A lot lighter on his feet these last couple rounds of this fight. Big, straight left. Oh! Pettis gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, nice. Pettis gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. The final horn sounds. All right, so once again, we are glad we are commentators and not judges. This fight goes the distance, and it was a very close fight, Joe. Both guys had their moments. Truly a decision now that could go either way as we await it from Bruce Buffer. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three... Donald Cowboy Well, this guy just might retire as the UFC's all-time wins leader. Tonight was certainly a step in that direction. Donald Cowboy Cerrone gets it done yet again. Another big spot, and you can argue this was one of the best performances of his career.